Yo, what's up guys, FIFA Dude here, so I'm going to bring you a team of the season player review, it's going to be on Manolo Gabbiandini, he plays for Napoli, he's an absolute beast of a striker, I'm just going to get that out there, I played 13 games with him, 20 goals, 3 assists, his team of the season card is a cam, but I would change him to a striker to get the best out of him, because the geezer is an absolute tank up front, so we're going to start it off with his finishing, he has got 81 finishing, and for me it did feel pretty overpowered, around 85 finishing I would say, because some of the shots I took with him on weird angles did go in, he's also got 90 heading accuracy, and for me his heading was probably the main factor of his game, 9 times out of 10 he'd win the headers, and he's good at heading the ball from goal kicks and things like that, he's also got 94 shot power, so if you Around the edge of the box, or maybe just outside, don't be afraid to hit it with him. And for a big man, he has got a good first touch as well. He has got 83 ball control. He's also got 81 dribbling. He's not too bad at dribbling for a big man. 85 acceleration with 90 sprint speed, and he does make them decent runs. So if you're looking for a big striker who's pretty quick, then this is definitely your man. And he's pretty cheap. He's one of the cheapest team of the seasons in the Serie A, which is always a good sign. He's also got decent work rates, high attacking, low defensive, three star weak foot, three star skill moves, but of every good points there are bad. With his 61 balance and his 35 long passing, which is pretty pants, but he has got 78 short passing, which ain't too bad. If I had to compare him to a player, I'd say he's a little bit like Daniel Sturridge with a pace, but he's a little bit stronger and better at heading. I'll leave a link to all of his in-game stats in the description, so if you enjoyed guys, leave a like, comment and subscribe. Cheers and bye.